guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, do you love cars? I thought so. I do too. Who doesn't love cars in this world? You know, beautiful machines going super fast. A thousand miles per hour. That's actually not possible with a car. But still, they're cool. Today, I'm playing a game that is called the Car Mechanic Simulator. That's right. I'm a car mechanic. I'm gonna build my own car! Bugatti Veyron! I mean, Jelly Veyron! Not really. Okay, we're gonna start off slow, and if you guys like this game, I'm gonna do more of it. Because this game is actually quite comparable to House Flipper, which you guys seem to love, but there's just nothing else to do in the game, so I kinda got bored of it. But anyway, we're gonna play this game. This is my garage. This is where I'm gonna fix the cars. We got a little lift here. Look, car lift. We got a little like, um, like test area over here where we can test our vehicle, a repair bench. Ooh, something fun. Obviously, our cars need to be green, and that's why ooh, we've got a paint shop. <laughs> I'm actually super excited, but what do we do at first? Well, we need a car from the junkyard. We could either go to the car auctions place, or we could just go to the junkyard. I'm not exactly sure if you could buy a whole uh, car at the junkyard. Probably just some pieces that we might need later. So we're just going to go to the car auction at first and buy not so, so good looking car. All right, here we have it. We're starting off with something that's actually quite nice. I'm looking for a cheap car to begin with. I'm a beginner, okay? This is more like it. This is, this is more like it. This is the Salem Flamo. Okay, I don't actually know this car from anything in real life. But you know what? The overall state is two out of five stars. We could probably fix that up to about four stars. Let's start bidding. Okay, so the car value is about $10,000. Uh, the, the, oh, the bids will probably go to around 11,000. And then I'm just going to overrise it with 500 bucks. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I'm the highest bidder. I'm the highest. Oh, come on. Bidder one really wants this car, but I just took it. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> I lost the car. I lost the bit there, guys. That's how auctions go. You, you gotta be quicker. Okay. This is a really interesting looking one. And actually kind of ugly. I'm moving on. Oh! This is really nice. But too nice to begin with. I want something cheap! Okay, okay. This car is called the Bolt Roulette. I'm actually not sure what this car is based on in real life, but I do like the look of this. So we're just gonna start an auction here, okay? Car value is at 40K. That's a decent price. Actually quite high up already. I'm not gonna go over 35. I am not gonna go over 35. 33, 34, 35, come on! I just went over 35. Come on! I really want this thing. How much do I gotta... Pay for it! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! I'm going broke! I'm going broke! My last click! God dang it! I really want it. Man, these people be spending way too much money on these cars. How is this piece of trash with 43k? What about this one? Car value 23. That's more like it, you know? Let's say 25, 27. Not gonna go over that. Oh! I got it! I got it, guys! I got it for $28,000. Which is a thousand dollars more than I wanted to spend, but that's how auctions work. I got myself a nice V8 Bolt Chapman. All right, so this is the car I ended up with. It's actually quite clean, and there's not a lot of rust on it. It comes from Croatia. Okay, that's a nice place. It looks like we've got some rusty rims, though. We definitely have to fix that, but I have to say the outside looks pretty good. And uh, what about the interior? I mean, it is an auction. You never know what you could find. Uh, everything looks quite good. Oh, uh, there's no dead body in the trunk. That's a good sign. <laughs> to me, it kind of looks like we've only got some rim issues and uh, potentially, what about the engine? Oh, that's an old engine. That is an old engine. Okay, we're just gonna have to fix that one. It's gonna be a messy video, but it's gonna be good. Now, like I said, guys, I will go to more expensive cars and eventually even supercars, but I want you to leave a like on this video at 10,000 likes. I will make another episode on Car Mechanic Simulator. And eventually, guys, if you guys are enjoying it, I will fix supercars. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna go and test this car out first before we know what we're gonna do with it. We're gonna go to the test track with the Bolt Chapman. No oil in the engine. Oh, okay. Here, here the mess starts, guys. Okay, let's uh, get the engine ready. We're just gonna get the oil plug. And we're just gonna fill it up with some juicy oil. You like that? I think the engine is loving it. The, en the engine is in heaven right now. Oh, oil. All right, put the oil cover on and get this baby going, am I right? I think so. All right, so on the test track, we're just gonna test out a couple things about this beautiful car. We wanna make sure it works, you know? Okay, ooh, it is slow. Oh, <laughs> it is really, really slow. Okay, we're going 40, 45, 50, 60. Remember guys, this is kilometers an hour, so this is about, what, like 40 miles an hour? Huh? 
Okay, uh, this, this car is a little strange, to be honest. I mean, it drives. It drives. It's not actually performing decently well, but hey, keep in mind, we paid good money for this thing. What was it, $28,000? This car better work, okay. Suspension test. Okay, we did fine, we did, we did fine. Suspension seems to work. We're not dead yet. Okay, and now the ultimate test of them all. Are we going to pass the brake test? Uh, 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 we passed! Oh, here we have it, guys. We have the condition of the car right here. Everything is actually a little bit worse than it looks. I think from the inside, it looks a bit weak. 30% average? That's that's really bad. We're gonna have to fix this baby up, okay? She's uh, doing quite well from the outside, but from the inside, let me just show you. She's probably uh, quite terrible. Oh, here we have it, guys. Here we have it. Now you can finally see what is wrong with this thing. Okay, so looks like the engine is actually okay. The thing is, everything that's gray is just something we don't know. So everything that's colored is bad. <laughs> hmm, this is not good, guys. This is not good. We, uh, we have to do some serious repairs. Mm hmm. All right, well, at least we know that she's working. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna put this baby on a lift. Car is on the lift. Okay, what we're gonna do, uh, I think to start off, we should, um, Detach the gearbox, okay? Underneath the car is the gearbox. We're gonna have to detach that one. And then we'll just carry the engine out with this thing here. Hello, how you doing? All right, so what do we got? Oh, that's a rusty one. Oh, that's a rusty one. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, there you go. Get rid of all the screws. There you go, that's the drive shaft. Easy like that. First, we're gonna have to get rid of the starter. Two screws. And then I think you should be able to take the gearbox off just like that. Oh no, we have some more screws. And one more. There you go, gearbox is gone. We're gonna get rid of the exhaust pipes. There you go. We're just gonna buy some new ones of those. I'm not exactly sure what the car is holding on to right now. Probably not all that much. But if I'm correct, we should be able to carry the engine out right now. <laughs> Probably not. Probably wrong, like always, but we're here to find out. All right, so the engine's right there. The lift is right here. Let's have a look. Pull out the engine of the car. Drain the oil from the engine before using the engine crane. Okay, I didn't think about that one. All right, so if I'm correct, there should be a tool. The oil drain tool. Move equipment. Car filter A, there you go. All right, there we go. The oil is being drained. And I think this guy caught it, so it's not a filthy mess around here. I'm just gonna move this one back to where it came from. Put the car down, and I think we should be able to um, pick up the engine now. There you go! Okay! The engine is gone. We've got all the pieces in our inventory now. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna build a new V8 for this vehicle. It's gonna take some time, but it's gonna be fun, okay? Trust me. We're really just gonna strip this whole thing down. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these tires off, just like that, you know? <laughs> We're gonna put some new rims on this baby. I mean, it needs to be the jelly car, you know? There you go. Get rid of the brake pads and everything. The brake disc, the front wheel hub. Everything seems to be super rusty, so maybe I can clean some things. Maybe not. We'll, we'll figure it out. We're just gonna unscrew everything real quick. It doesn't take too much time. Gonna clean it all up and see if we have to buy a new one or not. All right, there you go. I dismantled almost everything. There's just a couple more things we gotta do while the car is being lifted. Cost some money to repair things. Just gonna click on everything. But there you go, now we have a whole bunch of things fixed. So how about these parts? There you go, I'm gonna unscrew everything, guys. We're literally gonna put everything new on here. It's gonna be great. All right, and there we go. We took off both wheels on the front here and the engine. <laughs> so there's nothing left, it's just the the body and the chassis of the car, and that's it. Let's actually take these exhausts out as well, and uh, we'll actually do the back of the car later. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna we're gonna put everything in again. We're gonna have, we're gonna have to buy everything, unless of course we can clean some parts. That would actually be kind of good. It would save us some dollar bills, you know. Dollar bills are kind of important in this world. All right, so we're starting off from scratch. There we go. We need to buy a new steering rack. This one is on four percent. Okay, that's number one. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open our tablet, we're gonna type in steering, then we'll be able to find a steering rack right over here. $800, oh my goodness. All right guys, it is time to just put everything together again. But just like usual, we gotta buy some more things. I'm just gonna write everything down, kind of like a shopping cart. We got the uh, double wish a bone shock absorber. And every time I come across something that I need to buy, I will just go ahead and buy that. 
All right, so let's just go and buy the double wishbone shock absorber. Here we have it. We need the front one. We need two of those. And then we need the outer tie rod. That's right, the outer tie rod. Just gonna buy a couple extra. They're always useful. Sway bar, front link A and B. Okay, it seems like we're actually coming across some issues here. For some reason, it's not allowing us to put the new ones down that I just bought. Okay, I think I get why. I had to buy this cap as well, and I think I need to buy like a ring as well. A front spring, that's what I'm talking about. Not a ring, a spring, bro. Bro, come on. You build cars or what? Oh, here we have it. The spring puller. I think that's what I need. Join parts. Okay. Ah, so we just had to like connect them using a little machine. I think we got to do that twice. And there you go. Take the parts. And now we can finally put them back together. And slowly but surely, we got ourselves a new car for like no money. It's going to be great. There you go. Put the new shock absorber on. Look at that. 100% on everything. Guys, this car is going to last an eternity. All right, we can put the car down. There we go. Look at that. Everything nice and fresh. Oh, ho, ho. oh, that looks so good. Let's have a look at some new rims, ladies and gentlemen. Before we build the engine, I think it's nice to buy some new rims for our car. So currently, we've got this rim Chapman rim. <laughs> Just gonna separate this one real quick, and we're gonna have a close look at it. How many inch it is, and uh, kind of what what looks nice on this car, you know? All right, so this, ladies and gentlemen, is a 15 inch rim. But then what about the tire? Okay, so the tire is 205, 75, or 15. I need to write that down because oh my goodness. All right, so let's go on the internet and um, buy some new rims. I mean. We could buy some beautiful ones, right? Something that looks nice with this car. Currently, we've got the Rim Chapman, which is this one, which is actually pretty cool. The Rim Classic looks good. I mean, I want like an old timer look, right? This is an old timer car after all. So, what about the Rim Classic? Nothing wrong with it, right? Although this one looks good. What about the Bowen? Bowen looks nice too. All right, so they had a 15 inch. We could go for a 16 inch. Yeah, let's, let's try a 16 inch. Nice wide 16 inch tire, four pieces of them. I think I just bought five, but it's fine. And then we need some tires that fit with those. Now, the vintage ones, they, they just look best. So I think we should go with the vintage ones. They look really nice with this tire. Uh, we need some, I think it was five 16 inch tires with, I don't know about the width. It was 205 before, so let's try that one out. I don't know. A lot of profile, we want, we want a lot of profile. <laughs> Let's just go with 60 or something. I don't know. A nice and expensive tire. So the Bowen tire. Okay. Seems to be fine. Are you sure you want to install this? Yes. Is that going to work? <laughs> oh, man. These tires looking good, eh? Wow. That is fantastic. All right. Let's balance this one real quick. There we go. Wow. That one looks so good. Okay. We're just going to have to do that to a couple more tires. We've obviously got four of them. But whoa. Yo, this is, I mean, this is an old-timer car, and these old-timer tires are gonna be looking fantastic on this thing. Let's actually put one on here just to have a look what it looks like, you know? Is this gonna look good? I mean, it must look good, right? Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Okay! Dude, that is shiny! I love it! Could have even gone with, like, a bigger wheel looking at it now. For now, I think we should just... Keep it how it is, guys. This is good. This is nice. All right, let's put the second rim on here as well. Oh, ho, ho. Woo! Oh, yeah, baby. That looks fantastic. That is very nice. Very, very nice. All right, so let's start building a new engine. So this is the V8 I took out of that beast. Um... We're just gonna have to recreate this one, honestly. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new engine, okay. And I wanna create a V8. Where is it? Oh, oh, I mean, is that gonna fit? It's not gonna fit, right? So we can either choose a 291 horsepower, one carb, or a 330. I mean, this is not gonna fit, is it? Does anything fit in there? We can't just fit every single engine in there. I mean, we could try. Is it worth the risk? 584 horsepowers. Yo, these fit. Okay, 
These will definitely fit, guys. This is a V8 OHV 6P with 390 horsepower. That is a lot of horsepower. Let's start to build this one. All right, so here we go. We're going to put the engine block down. And this is what it looks like. We could actually rotate this one a little bit. This is the top, guys. So a V8 is pretty much that there's eight, like, holes. And there's four on this side. And there's four on this side. I don't know how to say it in English properly, okay, but this is a V8. We're just gonna build this one in no time. Funny story, actually, I was in the Mercedes AMG factory not too long ago, and they showed me how to build this thing. So, I mean, that was pretty cool. All right, so it's time to put all the pistons in. Obviously, we need eight of them, and I don't think I've actually got enough. Um, I built a car before in this game, not, and I didn't record it. I just wanted to test it out, and uh, I still have some pistons left because of that. But <laughs> we just ran out. Oh, no. All right. There you go. The last piston. Woo! Okay. Now we can put the engine head on it. <laughs> we need two of them. Bunch of screws. This pretty much covers all the pistons and makes them actually work. Just going to screw those on there real quick. Nice and easy. Now we need an exhaust manifold. Mm-hmm. I obviously know everything about a car, and I know everything that this does. Definitely. All right, the top part of the engine is now almost done. Oh, come on. That, that's what I thought it was done, and apparently I have to buy some more things. It is taking some time, okay? And there you go. The top of the engine is now done. Uh, but that doesn't mean we're actually done with the engine, because we still have to flip this baby around. That's right, there's still a different whole, a whole different side to the story, okay? <laughs> Watch. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay, what did I just do? Uh, hello? Oh, okay, okay, it's back. I thought it was gone for a second. <laughs> okay, but we're good. All right, so what we gotta do now is we gotta get a bunch of these rod caps. We pretty much gotta screw all the pistons together with the engine and make sure that they all work. And once that is done, ladies and gentlemen, we gotta put a, uh, like a, like a pan up there so no oil leak could just happen and everything like that. And then I think we're good. Okay, there we go. We can put the oil pan on it right now. Put a couple screws in that. I'm not sure if that's it, but I think it might be. Okay, we are uh, we're missing a, a chain. A cover. Okay. I think we might need a fan here or something. Isn't this for the cooling? The crankshaft pulley. Water pump. We've got that as well. Okay, here's the radiator fan. Oh, that I don't have. Okay. Is that it, ladies and gentlemen? I am not exactly sure. However, it does look like that might just be it. I think we might be good, guys. All right, guys, so the engine is done, but obviously it wouldn't be jelly if there was no mistake. So we've got the car over here, and the engine actually doesn't fit in here. So I just spent a good 25 minutes trying to make this engine, and it doesn't fit in the car. So I came to a solution, and I bought myself the ugly car from the start. Remember this one with the ugly back? <laughs> well, this car actually fits this engine. So I didn't actually do all that much to it. I put some new things in the bottom and some new rims. I'll put them new rims on there, but the rest of the car doesn't look too bad. So we're just gonna we're just gonna put the new engine in, guys. Okay. This video is taking way too long. I've been recording for so long. <laughs> but the game is so much fun, so it's all worth it. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the new engine in here. Finally. There you go, looking all fresh, all clean. So we got a new engine in here. We got it. We got a new car. Well, we have a new car now, so let's just start working on the body and uh, fixing this baby up a little bit. Everything that seems to be broken will have to go. And at the same time, we do have to unscrew all these tires and everything. The blotty blotta blotta. Luckily, the tires don't actually take that much time. So yeah, we're just gonna put the same tires on here that we had before, and actually, while we're at it, we'll put some new brakes on and everything. Because, I mean, these are pretty rusty, you know? And then Jelly just starts demounting the whole car again. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I found the car battery! It's actually quite good, because I do need to take the battery. In this game, you actually have to charge them, so you have a little charger here. <laughs> we plug the battery in, and uh... <laughs> In uh, a couple minutes or so, it'll be fully charged and ready to go. All right, there you go. It only took a couple minutes, and now we got some wheels on it. Oh, yeah. And not just that. We actually managed to uh, replace everything inside. It's all new. It's all fresh. We can now install 
the V8 again. There we go. While we're at it, I actually managed to clean off all the rust from the uh, outside parts. I'm not exactly sure how to do the inside parts, but that doesn't really matter anyway. So let me show you what it looks like now. Oh, now it is still red. Uh, we will paint it green, I, I'm telling you, trust me. But I'll do that later. I actually don't have to demount it again, but now it actually looks nice and fresh. Even if I say so myself. Only problem is this. I hope the paint can just cover that. I'm not exactly sure. All right, so as you can see, everything is new from underneath. We gotta put some new exhaust things in. And uh, new drive shaft. Some new rims on the backside. And then I think we can try out this beast. All right, I think I managed to do everything that you need to do. Except for painting it, which we're gonna do right now. All right, so let's move the car into the paint shop. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, in the paint shop, ready to be painted. Can we finally finish this vehicle? Oh, this was a long episode today, guys. It was a long one. Obviously, the car is going to be a beautiful, beautiful green. Green is just the most beautiful color in the world, you know? So we can either choose it to be metallic, matte, which I actually really like, or pearl, or chameleon. I like that as well, or metallic. I think matte looks the best. Um, one thing I don't know is how to get rid of the rust. I, I just don't know how to do that. We can put like some stickers on it though. Oh, wow. Ho, ho. Uh-oh. <laughs> the camo. Should we go with the, uh, the black stripe through the middle? Which one? This one. I love it. Paint car. All right, so guys, in the comment section, please let me know how to get rid of the rusty, the rusty parts, um, because I obviously don't know. Before we test it out, we obviously gotta put some oil into this baby, okay? The engine needs oil. Thank you. There we go. Now the question is, does it start? Okay, come on. Does it not work? Oh, there's a battery missing! Oh! Oh yeah! I thought I, uh... <laughs> thought I did something terrible again. Maybe I did. But the most important thing is uh, the battery, of course. You truly need a battery. There you go. Batteries in. Could we please start it? Could we please start it? For the love of God! Yes! We did it, guys! So we don't have a door. I put that one out. And we also didn't change anything about the interior, but we did it! Oh, okay, let's wait. Let's why did I get out? Let's try this thing out. Oh man, with some slight changes to the car, <laughs> we are done. Whoa! <laughs> it is so fast! Look at that, 100 kilometers an hour in six seconds. That is pretty quick, okay? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa! I do have to say, guys, these 16 inch rims look really, really tiny on this thing. But wow. I can't believe we managed to do it, guys. We built ourselves a car from scratch. We do have a rusty outside. I will have to fix that in the next episode. And we didn't do anything to the interior, but this thing is really cool. Oh, okay, I just crashed. Let's pretend that didn't happen, guys. I'm not sure what its top speed is, and you know what? It's probably around 170, 180 kilometers an hour, which is not even that crazy, but this is a car from like the 1960s or something. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yes, come on. Finish line! Finish line! Okay, we're just gonna try and get a top speed going here, guys. 180. 190. Okay, this is actually pretty quick. Oh, it almost hit 200! And we're crashing! And we're dead. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for watching this episode. I had a great time here. I hope you did as well. This game is really difficult, but really fun at the same time, so... Whoa, look at this drift, though. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! So, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one, hopefully. At 10,000 likes, guys. Remember, 10,000. Oh, my goodness. This car is actually crazy. Hoo-ha! Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, click on that subscribe button. And also, make sure to check out the new exclusive Jelly Army t-shirts on JellyStore.com.